A wise man once told me to stand on the shoulders of giants, right? You want to learn from somebody that's better than you. There's a lot of smart people out there. Don't reinvent the wheel. But there's a certain point where you have to jump off, especially in making money, right? You don't want to follow people. You want to make your own path. You want to make your own decision. You want to do your own research. The information I'm providing in this video is a first of its kind. No other YouTuber, no other analyst, no other person in cryptocurrency has ever analyzed all coin season like I am about to do in this video. Keep watching. What's going on everybody? Alex back with another cryptocurrency video and I'm not overstating it, I am not exaggerating. This type of analyzing of all coin season has never been done before. I know for a fact, once I do this, we are gonna have other cryptocurrency YouTubers coming out the woodworks copying exactly what I'm doing. This video is gonna stand the test of time and people are going to replay it over and over and over again to their friends so they understand exactly how to make money in all coin season. Things are lining up almost perfectly. I'm talking about to the day as previous altcoin seasons. We have news, we have hard forks, we have Ethereum specific news, right? And we have altcoin seasons, and I'm gonna paint the picture for you guys. This is a proprietary strategy I've created called cycle trading, where I look where the flows of money are going and try to analyze it from history. Although history doesn't always repeat itself, it rhymes. And I'm telling you right now, the rhyme is the greatest rhyme I've ever heard in money making history. Right now, all coin season has not only lined up, but has already started. And we are about to see a parabolic jump in the top 100 all coins. But before we get started, what's going on, everybody? My name is Alex. I talk about cryptocurrency entrepreneurship. I keep try to keep it down to earth. We do not get sponsored by anybody. I do not accept sponsorship in no way, shape, or form, which allows me to give you guys my research in an honest, unbiased way. Again, like I say in all my videos, just smash the like button, subscribe, and share this with as many people as possible. That really helps my channel grow. Um, and honestly, people can use this information. It like seriously, they can use this information. People are just making really bad mistakes in cryptocurrency. But of course, this is not financial advice. Follow it up with your own research. Let's jump into the market. So the chart I'm looking at here, and as you can see, there's a lot of mumbo jumbo. It's pretty crazy. I spent like eight hours trying to put stuff together. Let me just control Z. I think I just moved something. If I mess anything up on this chart, it's going to be problems. It's going to take me so long to get it back. But top 100 altcoins versus Bitcoin dominance. Just to give you a quick explanation, when this chart goes up, the top 100 altcoins are doing better than Bitcoin. When this chart goes down, Bitcoin is doing better than altcoins. So this is like one of the most predictable charts in calling altcoin season. So you can see previous altcoin seasons and you could look at what's going on now and try to draw some conclusions. Now, I didn't know that it was going to be this clear. I didn't know it was going to line up this accurate. Okay. So let me explain to you what I'm talking about. Again, I was not understating it. It's kind of ridiculous the way this is happening. So right here, this white line, that's the Bitcoin having. Okay. We have one here, look up the dates, cross-reference the dates for yourself. And we have one here. Okay. As you can see there. Now, before the Bitcoin having, we had a line of support. All coins made support on exactly this day. You can see the arrows. Okay. You can literally see the arrows right here. All coins made support that day. Now, exactly 248 days later, exactly 248 days later, there was a Bitcoin halving, as you can see here. Okay. Now, let me show you something crazy. All right. If we come back over to our current cycle, which is recent, this is in 2019. We make support here exactly 248 days later, the Bitcoin having comes. Okay. Let me zoom in so you guys can see it's exact, right? People are thinking I'm going to fake this or something. Look right here, lining up with the exact date, 248 days later, look up the havings on the internet guys, May 11, 2020. That's when the having happens exactly to the T. 248 days later, I'm not, this is not dramatic. This is facts. Okay. This is facts. Okay. So pay attention. It, it gets even weirder. Okay. From the having, we make support again, exactly 238 days later, right here, right here. Let's look back to the previous altcoin pop. Okay. Let's look back to history. It gets weird. Okay. Again, we got the 248 we were talking about. Having comes. Look at what happened. We actually started and made support here and it took off. 
the all point season like officially started and it went parabolic. Now it's not identical. If it was identical, it would look like something like this, right? It was should have came down here and it kind of just made support like perfectly right here, right? If it did that, it would be identical. But let me let me state a case for you because this is like I told you guys. I'm telling you the altcoin story. This is the ultimate. This is the altcoin story nobody else has told you. We're looking at exactly what the market is telling us, right? So the reason why this one was more exaggerated and the reason why we broke out here for a couple of facts, okay? And exactly right here, we had a Dow attack. So that purple arrow showing there's a Dow attack. If you guys don't know what the Dow attack is, basically back in the day, uh, they made a, a coin for some type of investment fund. I forgot exactly what it was, uh, but basically Ethereum had a decentralized autonomous organization. It was like the big first big one ever made. It was a lot of money, it was like hundreds of millions of dollars locked up uh, in this smart contract. It was like the first time they did it. Look, look how far back it was. It was like 2016. It was the first time they did it, right? They got hacked. Somebody took the money, all right? The, the code was faulty. They decided to revert the blockchain and fork Ethereum. So if you ever heard of Ethereum Classic, that's the classic blockchain. The new version is the one that we are currently using that's upgrading to Ethereum 2.0. So I believe that this is the reason that this was exaggerated. If you're in cryptocurrency for any period of time, if you see a fork, right? Historically, like if you look at last Bitcoin fork, people flocked to Bitcoin on purpose because what happens is when you get a fork in a road, when when a if you guys don't understand what a fork is, I need you to do some research. This is not a video for that. It'll take way too long. But if you look at, for example, if any type of fork, people jump into it so that they can get two coins for free. So essentially what happens is the blockchain splits and they give you an equal amount on both blockchains, right? So people try to capitalize on that and they jump into it so they can get the free coins, right? Who wouldn't want to get the free coins? So this exaggerated the altcoin spike, right? This exaggerated on this exact day. It was it was an exaggeration. You could see the top 100 altcoins took off, right? Literally right there, okay? Now this is important because like I told you, everything's lining up almost to the day except for the fact that this broke out of resistance premature. It broke out of resistance premature. But remember we said before, look, 235 days, we see another support right here and the actual altcoin season starts, right? Again, we bring it over here. 238 days, we see support. And I'm claiming that the altcoin season start then. I'm telling you right now, altcoin season starts right there. Just to, you know, let you guys know what like my conclusions are, are coming to, right? But there's a, another interesting feature in how this is working out. Like it's getting ridiculous how accurate this is, right? As you can see here, this altcoin season was started by the Ethereum Alliance being created. If you guys don't know what the Ethereum Alliance is, basically an organization uh, put together to uh, guarantee Ethereum success, right? So it was like a big, uh, a huge major news event. And I was actually, I held Ethereum at that time. And I remember it. The day after that happened, Ethereum went parabolic. It just went to the moon, right? Another important piece of news is right here, Microsoft partnered with Consensus on this last point of support. Like almost the day before, I believe, they partnered. So this is a, another major news event that happened right here. I just moved the halving date. It happened right here, right? There was another major news event. We made support 248 days later, halving 235 days later, we start the actual altcoin season with this support right there. And on that same day, we have this major piece of news for Ethereum, right? We all know that Ethereum is basically, it has the vast majority of altcoins right now um, as ERC-20 tokens, right? So Ethereum, you know, going up in price is a clear indicator to altcoin season as well, just to give you guys a heads up. But long story short, right here, the same thing basically happened. China announced plans to use a stable currency, like at, almost at this exact point right here, Right. And Telegram announces his own crypto. At the same time, Bitcoin tops out at thirteen thousand eight hundred dollars right here. Right. Um, and then, you know, we see a, a old coin season that was primarily fueled by most likely DeFi. Right. Um, and then from there, we didn't break out. Right. Because there was no like major news. I didn't see anything right here. If anything, I think we had uh, resistance against altcoins because Bitcoin decided to do extremely well right here, like literally right here. Bitcoin took off. I can actually show you evidence of that. It's called cycle trading, guys. What you're looking at is for different charts uh, to point you in the right direction. So if I pull up this chart right here, let's just get the exact date. Uh, it's basically, it's blocking it. We see Bitcoin actually uh, right here uh, kind of dumping and then starting its, its rally. So at the exact time Bitcoin starts its rally, the downside pressure brings down uh, all coin season. It brings down altcoin season right here, right? 
And then we make support on this exact day, which was three days after we did last time, right? And then it goes parabolic. We break through, right? And we even break through previous resistance. And we have, as you can see here, the Berlin hard fork and Coinbase IPO happening. <laughs> I mean, you guys tell me, like, literally six days after this point, the Berlin hard fork, almost identical to what happened back in the day. If you look at exactly right here. Now, it wasn't like it's I don't know if it's <laughs> I don't know if it's going to start the parabolic rally. Don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not going to sit here and tell you that that's exactly what's going to happen. What I'm saying is that there's a lot of variables lighting up and you can look at the flows of money and make your predictions. Some of these projects, I mean, I see a lot of these YouTubers looking at like, for example, like low market cap altcoins or even medium. Like I would say the same thing for medium. We see these people doing technical analysis and trying to analyze the price of an altcoin that has such a small market cap, what you should be doing is looking at the indexes and the flows of money. Cause this right here will point you to the right direction. Like all the news that is happening, there's there's catalysts, right? There, there's a lot of catalysts. There's one of them is the having. The having event is a big one, right? Obviously a fork is gonna be a catalyst, right? Big news, fundamental news, like China announcing their own stable currency and Telegram coming out with its own crypto at the same time, like almost at the same exact time. Uh, you know, Microsoft partnering consensus. Obviously, that's important news because consensus is is it's basically Ethereum, right? They're, they're dedicated to Ethereum success. And then the same kind of news comes out here. Ethereum Alliance created with JP Morgan and Microsoft and a whole bunch of other big companies. They create an alliance to for to guarantee Ethereum success starts the altcoin season and all other altcoins start doing well. Right. We're seeing big news events again happening in for your eyes. Don't pay attention. This is three days off. We make support three days off. We break through this previous resistance here and we have ridiculous. I don't, I don't think it's a coincidence. I think they're trying to start the altcoin season. I think they're timing this because they look back in history and saw exactly what happened and they realize that something like this needs to come out. Coinbase IPO. And the funny part about it, you guys are going to laugh after I say this. The IPO was actually pushed. So it should have been earlier. It should have been probably at the same time. You know, for example, the last time it happened in all coin season, there should have been a big piece of news that already happened with Coinbase. But the Berlin hard fork and the Coinbase IPO are happening at the April 14th. This is a day that's probably going to go down in a history of uh, cryptocurrency as one of the most lucrative days or maybe the start of the next rally, like the parabolic swing with all coins. Maybe some of your all coins are going to go up a thousand percent. Um, who knows? Depends on what you got, right? Depends on how the fundamentals play out. I thought this was really interesting. I wanted to show you guys um what i've been up to for so long like a madman just trying to put the pieces of the puzzle together actually just to give you guys a hint of what i'm going to be doing in the future i'm actually aligning it up i don't want to like the, the video is going to be way too long but i'm lining it up with uh the total market capitalization total two which is a total market cap excluding btc the us dollar currency index and the 10-year bonds the 10-year uh yield on the bonds right now that's telling a whole another story right it's gonna take me way too long uh, to go into that, but I will be dropping more and more evidence to back up the case of altcoin season, as well as we're studying the history of cryptocurrency, right? If they're not doing this with you, if there's people not doing, if you're not following what happened in the past, like how could you possibly be prepared for the fluctuations and the price swings? My goal here is not to try to predict anything. All I'm saying is that there's variables that are aligning that the same thing happened last time, right? So I can prepare myself and rebalance my portfolio to have more altcoins per se, right? And that's exactly what I did. And we did this actually early on. Stop looking at short-term price action. It's gonna put you in a bad position. But if you have good risk management, which I've talked about in multiple videos, you can find it on my YouTube channel. And you look at the big money cycles, you, you zoom out and you look at exactly what's happening on a macro perspective, it will point you into the right direction. Don't lose sight, don't have shiny object syndrome. And don't listen to somebody that doesn't know what they're talking about. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you in the next one. Alex here. Quick update, quick announcement. Guys, I have a new community number. So I got a second phone. You could directly text me. I'm answering all questions. My new phone number is 954 758 5473. Again, that's 954 758 5473. I'm answering all comments. Go ahead and text me now. Let's have a conversation.